Hi, I'm Molly with West Virginia University Extension Family Nutrition Program. And today I have a special guest in my kitchen. It's my mom. This is Sarah. And we are going to be making zucchini pizzas. Now for this recipe, we have already washed our hands and our cooking surfaces, so we are ready to get started. I have already sliced my zucchini into rounds. If you could hand me that bowl, thank you. Now zucchini grows prolifically in the garden. Sometimes there can be too much of it. And we're just gonna lay our rounds down on a parchment lined cookie sheet. You want to do some? Do it on your yeah. Now zucchini is high in fiber, high in B6, high in vitamin A. It really takes on the flavor of whatever you cook it with. And it is really good with pasta sauce and pizza sauce like we're going to see today. So I've got my zucchini all ready to go. Do you want to hand me the sauce and the measuring spoon? I did a shortcut and I've got some jarred pizza sauce. I'm going to put just a little dollop on my zucchini. And it's a lot of fun to cook with your parents at home. Makes it go faster and you have a guaranteed lunch date. And once we've got our sauce on our zucchini, we're gonna add the toppings. Best part of the pizza. So right here we've got mozzarella cheese, we have sliced black olives, we have some mushrooms, and we have some diced green pepper. So, of course, you can make this your own and add any veggies that you would like to. And I'm going to, we'll do the veggies first and then add the cheese on top. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna add some green pepper and mom, you can start with black olives or some mushrooms. Peach and <laughs> this is nice because um, the black olives are pre-diced from a can. So no knives needed. Just so sprinkle on some peppers. I'm not gonna put it on all of them. And then we can switch places. Okay. I do love black olives. Do you remember what I used to do with black olives, Mom? What? At Thanksgiving, what did I do with black olives? Ate them all. Ate them all. <laughs> but I put them on my fingers, remember? <laughs> Like the big ones, I'd stick them on oh, my fingers. Oh, yeah. From the relish tray. Yeah. <laughs> Food safety was not taught at the McCorkle household. Um, now I'm gonna do some mushrooms, and this is another great part that the kids can do. Just break up some pieces of the fresh mushrooms and sprinkle those on top. Now our zucchini, we didn't peel. It is a nice, soft summer squash, so the peel is edible and packed with a lot of our fiber and vitamins. Looks good. Now I'm gonna add some cheese. This is low skim shredded mozzarella, so we've saved on a little bit of fat there, but you could use any type of cheese that you may have on hand or that you like, or use a variety of cheeses, some yellow and some white. I'm just gonna try to pile it all up there. Okay, I've got my zucchini all topped with our yummy toppings and the cheese added. And now I'm ready to put this in our 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes until it's all nice and bubbly. Thank you.
My zucchini was pretty small, so it's a good idea to judge how long you cook this based on how big or how small your zucchini is. So as you can tell, this is nice and toasty and brown and the cheese is melted perfectly. So I didn't want to go much longer than that 15 minutes at 400 degrees. So I'm ready to try one. Are you ready to try one? It looks so good. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take this one. Mm. What a great snack or an appetizer to serve at your next party. They taste just like pizza. Mm -hmm. And this would be such a fun activity for your kids to help with. Everybody make your own zucchini pizza. Thanks so much for stopping by my kitchen today. And I hope you check out our webpage for the complete recipe and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all of our video uploads. Thanks again. Bye-bye.